These are right plugs. Yeah. Did it again. All right, let's go to the other barn, ladies. Ah. Ooh, mom. Okay, tomatoes. Tomatoes. All right, tomatoes, I'm a little concerned about you. <laughs> Don't think she's gonna be a cute dog. <laughs> oh, man. My retirement village is growing. to stay out with the girls. Bye Piper! Ha ha ha! Good morning you guys. A bit of action around the farm. Monty's uh, finishing up just sweeping off our lawns. Problem with pushing snow when it gets kind of mild out is you move half your laneway with the snow and then gravel and stuff gets on your lawn. So he's just sort of brushing off those uh, piles where all the snow melted. And then Mark asked me for a little bit of help. We have a bunch of tile issues on the one farm. If you have been here long enough with Mark and I, you know most of our spring season starts out in the fields sort of getting prepped by fixing tiles that we didn't put in. Yeah, field tile's pretty important when you're trying to keep your fields fairly dry and get into your fields on a, at a decent time in the spring. So. Uh, our fields can be very wet and we use field tile, which is drainage tile, to help um, drain the soil basically. Can you grab the towel that's in there? My hands are freezing. Oh. Do you want me to run home and get those insulated rubber gloves? Maybe. It's going to get rained out. I know. It's getting really dark. These are right plugs. Yeah. Well, I think we need to get motor in to get this tile in. So the what four inch on the wagon or on the trailer, the uh -huh. four inch without the holes in it. So bring it over. Well, at least get it unstrapped. Okay. Bring the whole roll. Oh yeah, I can hear you. I can roll it maybe. Maybe. That is the uh, really old clay tile and she is right silted in. We didn't miss the rain. <laughs> it is pouring, so this is this job is getting old real fast. It's it's just not ideal. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, we thought we had this fixed, and apparently not. The one thing is, I think I might wean the older lambs today. These guys, however, still need this machine working. We're gonna limp through this weekend, but Monday morning, Grover's getting a call. It's like either the water isn't running every single time, and I've checked everything, I've checked the float, I've run the water manually, everything seems to work. It's like either the powder runs randomly, 
and then it, it builds up too much on that spinner or the spinner's not working. But when you run everything manually, everything works. So I'm gonna clean this out, get it working and then uh, just try to observe it today. What is going on? If anyone has one of these machines and you know what's going on, throw it in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to just see if Grover's ever dealt with this, but it's getting very frustrating. It happened to Carissa yesterday, and this is a brand new beaker that uh, Mark and I replaced here on Monday. It's been working fine all week. My lambs aren't impressed. Oh well, it's a machine. Machines break. I know, baby. morning. Weaning's going well. Usually I'm lucky enough that when I wean, I usually don't have to do chores like the day after. Yeah. Usually Carissa has to drown you guys out, eh? Now it's me. I'm gonna put on some tunes, I think. These guys do need their booster vaccine. Um, I just wanted to make sure we've had three weeks since the la they last got done, and I don't think we quite have. But I will double check that this morning. Ooh. And I need more anyway. Oh my gosh, I'll check in with you guys later. The good news is the nanny is still working. So I don't know what happened. I don't know why it's working, but we'll see how long that lasts. Charlie is supposed to come tomorrow and uh, I'm praying he does and he doesn't cancel because I think I'm gonna take tomorrow, um, because it's such a small group of views, I'm, gra I'm gonna grab the Golden Girls and take them over to the other barn, either yet today or tomorrow. I have it all set up to bring them at least into, into that one drop pen, and then I can easily load them up either in the morning or still maybe today, I haven't decided, and then bring them over so they're over in the other barn. Um, and when Charlie's done shearing them, then I probably can hoof trim them too, or at least trim them up. They don't really need it because they're outside. Uh, but just to maybe reshape them, just in case they've gotten a little overgrown in the winter. So I've got this all sort of set up with gates all around here and then in between the two barns here in our old uh, silage room here, feed room. And then the barn is straight through there and I've got some more gates over there. So let's see if we can convince them with a pail of grain. I'm a little only really only concerned about tomatoes being more of a rodeo than anybody else. You're going the right way. Good girls. Can you see Charlie tomorrow? He's so happy. Uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Good girl. 
go. That's for following me. Don't eat it. All right, let's go to the other bar, ladies. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Mom, you know where you are. Yeah. 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 Now that we've got the interior almost all done in the cabin, we are gonna start the exterior. Uh, Mark's been busy painting some barn board, barn board? Board and batten. Board and batten. And I think we're gonna start in the covered porch area and see what it looks like, see if we like the color. Well, there's no C. It is, it is <laughs> we are gonna like the color. I paint 30 boards for all us right. to see what it looks like. It's just a can of paint. Morning. We are all set up, ready to go for Charlie. He was hoping to be here by noon. I just texted him. He said he's not going to be here till one. So now I'm like, okay. Now what am I going to do?
wasn't sure if she was having a seizure. This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did catch her, actually. I haven't seen one since, but... Does her will feel different since they've been outside? A little bit. Yeah. Look how white she's getting! bring them over here for you instead of wrestling them over there. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Their hooves look a lot better though than my other shoes. I haven't done them. Maybe give her another squirt. <laughs> Square footed? Hey, big mama, your turn. Sorry. She won't move too fast. Kinsey. 
We just had enough lice treatment too. Oh, ladies, you look so good. Thank you, Charlie. No problem. I wasn't sure if this was gonna actually work or if they were gonna fit. So they fit, which is good. Margie did not fit yesterday when she had her fleece. So uh, tomorrow I'll vaccinate them. I'm waiting for some vaccine to come in. And then uh, these ladies and one more are gonna go across the road. But uh, today's hoof trimming. They don't really need it. And actually they probably will do a better job outside over the next couple months than I will today. But. I just want to shape them and get them ready to go. This is sort of the second last step in releasing the ladies into back into their greener pastures. <laughs> They're really good for how long it's been. Good girl, big mama. I'm a little concerned about you. Alright, last but not least. What do you think? Oh. Alright, tomatoes. Look how good your feet are! Look how good our feet are! They're so good! Alright, we'll be quick. Don't kick me. Good girl. It is lunchtime, I'm gonna put these girls back and then all afternoon I'm gonna finish the other U's and we're done that job. Yay. Getting these jobs done before Friday because Friday is surgery day. Okay, we are almost done this mature group. Uh, Popcorn's next in line. She's already been done because she was with Willow's group. So she's done a couple weeks ago. She was sheared yesterday. I'm gonna take a couple seconds since she's next in line and actually put her in with the Golden Girls. We also, if you hear whining, we have a little grandchild here, just observing. Um, I tried to make her leash short enough that she couldn't reach the uh, hoof trimmings because I don't think Jess wants to smell what comes out of her back end this, this evening. She's cute and I was having grandma guilt, so I couldn't leave her at lunch. But she has got one heck of a bark.
You have lungs on you. Don't think she's gonna be a cute dog. <laughs> oh man. morning. I am so happy to have my baby back. This afternoon I want to vaccinate those ewes that we just sheared and hoof trim and I also want to vaccinate my golden girls. We are about seven weeks out I believe from when the slamming group starts on paper. We could wait a week to do this job. I just don't know where I'm going to be next week with the whole Jess thing with her surgery being in two days. Um, so I just want to do this while I've got them all organized and ready to go. I also want to just do it because I have to do the Golden Girls anyway. Uh, so, because I want to get them out of here and back over to the pasture. So, um, I'll do a few here for you. We're going to be using uh, Glam Back on all the ewes that are born. Glam Back for all the ewes that are born 20... 19 or younger or after and uh, Tazvax for the ewes that are older than that. So 2018, 2017, 2016. There's not many 2016 or 17s left. Most of them have been shipped out or they're with their babies in the group that just lambed. All right, so we'll do this and then we'll get the Golden Girls going. I'm gonna try to do this on the flock watch. So it might take a bit just to get situated with that. So I did just scan our little black sweetheart here and she is born in 2021. So she gets glam back. And then I'll just scan each one and see when they were born and give it to them. You're done. Thank you. 2019, I love them so much. Come on, come on, big mama. 
Popcorn. Popcorn's our new addition, and if you don't know the story behind popcorn, popcorn is the daughter of one of my very first, I mean, Ruthie's my first beloved, but Poppy was probably my second. And uh, Poppy was born when I had a broken leg, and Mark actually brought her to the house so I could bottle feed her from my couch so Poppy and I became very close but uh, she left me with popcorn yeah so we'll see how long it takes her to figure out that there's grass it took the other ones a good week but because the other ones know what's going on I'm sure she will catch on fairly quickly hopefully but uh, yeah it's a nice day the Sun is just peeking out of the clouds finally it was supposed to be sunny today but it's gonna be sunny now which is perfect timing. My retirement village is growing, however. I'm not even mad about it, not even a little.